you know, I don't know. We basically wrapped in obscurity for like, I don't know, maybe a good 10 years um, in separation. First, we were both independent solo rappers, and then we kind of clicked up and did a crew thing or whatever. You know, that took a long time, but then we got noticed by the most predominant rapper in our market, which is Tech Nine, um, at a live show. And you know, push came to shove, and then we ended up signing to his label. But when signing signing to his label, that was one of those things, like I'm sure it happens for most rappers when they finally pen something official. Um, it's like, oh, okay, well, this is like my career versus whatever it else might be, a hustle or a hobby or whatever. But, you know, it, it, it turns into something real. And so that, that was probably our biggest turning point in our career, which that was, what, 2012? 12, yeah. That we finally penned it. Dude, it was quite a journey to, to get with Strange Music in the process. Beforehand, before we even signed anything, it took us, I would say, at least 10 years before that ink dried. Um, and lots of independent projects and shows and everything else in between, and small cars and short trips and, uh, you know, floors of people's cribs. Yeah, I know the you, you name it, you know. So, yeah, nothing, I mean, nothing overnight unless you get real lucky in this business. So, yeah, to anybody that's trying to get into the music business and do this for a serious thing, I would uh, tell them to read as much literature as you possibly can, all those, like, the music industry for dummies type of books, anything that you find that you've heard about or something that L.A. Reid wrote or Russell Simmons wrote. Read as much as you can. Find out as much as you can. Try to do what you can by yourself, DIY, and uh, move as an independent until until further notice you know what i'm saying and then maybe you'll end up bumping shoulders with somebody that can put you on a higher plateau but it's a very diy business these days so study up that's what i would say try hard have fun <laughs> for sure and gives me some advice on like recording and laying vocals you know we shoot some breeze for a little bit and uh you know i play him the song i'm working on and he goes sounds good i'll just stack a little bit more vocals on that and then he walked out <laughs> i mean i think that's really why i started rapping was i just wanted to matter you know i didn't want to just be someone who grows up has a nine to five gets married goes home goes blah, 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 all that stuff then dies and that was it you know it's like i wanted to matter i wanted to impact people so cottonmouth kings is is performing you know and this is the time and all the Everybody. people are there to see them it's, it's yay it's, so no one's really back with us at the merch table and stuff so we smoke we smoke the weed and the fucking fire alarm thing happens. I put everything I had into this record. And it reminds me of when I used to listen to these records in the 80s and 90s, man. When I used to listen to Prince's records, when I used to listen to even some of the old school rap albums, like the Public Enemy records, 